It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I got a lace so deep, let's see me threes And throw a little fit together Get on the go, L, play some bid And hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom, a little one arrive But this part of our culture, you gotta be fly Round floor with the Air Forces Put that shit on to the day that I die Nikes over out of D-Dye What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid Back with another video for y'all today, man we got the game playing in the background. Y'all probably can't even see it, though. You know what I'm saying? North Carolina versus Kansas. You know what I'm saying? NCAA National Championship, man. I'm watching that joint right now. But at the same time, got to knock this video out for you guys because I told you guys I had some content that I'd like to keep rolling out. And we've been on the road, man. I've been gone for a minute. But right here, we have a pair of Air Jordan 1s. Now, we know the Air Jordan 1 probably been one of the hottest sneakers in the last, like, Ah, man, it's been, it's been some years, man. It's been a long little run that the Air Jordan 1 has been on top of the game. And it seems like over the last couple of years, we've had a couple pairs that have come out that have either, you know, we thought that they were going to be like crazy fire. This shoe right here in particular was going for $1,000 at one point. It dropped down to about 700 then it dropped down to about five. Then right before it released, it went down to like four. Then it just kept going down, man. And then once it released, it was just like, it was OV, man. The shoe is damn near going for retail. You know, maybe just a little bit over retail, depending on where you buy it at. You know, with the goat fees and different things like that. And stock F, stock X fees and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You might pay a little bit over. But at the same time, if you can probably find these locally, you might even be able to be lucky enough to get somebody that might let you just get them for the retail. And, you know, me personally, I feel like this is an excellent sneaker. Now, I'm going to tell you guys some things that they could have changed on this shoe to probably make it sell out a whole lot better you know because it did sell out you know it did sell out in a lot of places don't get me wrong though it's a couple spots that had them sitting but for the most part you know sneakers app all that good stuff they sold out so when these came out i was headed to school and i was like yo i had to have them you know I was playing no games man so right here y'all without further ado we have a jordan one that i think is going to go up in price in due time, grab them while they low. I'm telling you, grab them while they low. But we have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG University Gold Light Bordeaux. Listen, y'all, I know y'all have seen them. That's why I'm not even going, you know, that's why I'm not doing like a full detail review on feet. But I'm going to give you guys a comparison to what this shoe could have looked like. And it would have been a more, like a hotter commodity, I feel like. But nonetheless, we have the Brotherhood Jordan 1s, and I think that these things are filthy, G. I'm talking about crazy, man. Look, the quality on these joints, man, it's on point, man. I don't know why this shoe didn't do the numbers that I thought that it was going to do. You know, paying homage to Michael Jordan's fraternity, you know, he is a Q dog, you know, so, but I feel like when it comes to the colors, man, the colors were a little bit off. I think that these should have been more of a, you know, a purple, not the light Bordeaux. You know, that's just me personally. I feel like these should have been hit more like a Laker colorway, you feel me? And I think if they had did that, this shoe right here would have been going for about four or $500 right now, probably on the aftermarket, especially with the way that they did the materials on these bad boys. And I'm telling y'all, Woo, they smell immaculate, G. Hey, smell test approved by your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. But I like how they did the inner sock liner. Something different on the shoe. Um, you know, just a nice little soft sock liner. And just looking at that, you know, when you're looking at that university gold colorway, it's on point, G. It is. It's on point. The quality on the toe box and everything, super soft, man. Super soft, buttery. And I mean, yo. I think, personally, this pair is fire. I think that a lot of people just can't get jiggy with that light Bordeaux. Maybe when they saw the colorway, they was like, dang. You know, it kind of reminds me of, it's another Jordan that came out that this one is similar to that I feel like they just missed it just a tad bit. So me personally, I feel like these fall into the same category as these light fusion joints. I just feel like if these had have had like a true, you know, 
if these had had a true Atlanta Hawk type vibe with this red light fusion, whatever you want to call it, that they use, these would have been an instant sellout because people would have been like, yo, throwback Hawks jersey instantly. But when people seen, hey, the colorway did not look like that, you know, in hand and everything. But at the end of the day, the quality on these was on point. When people saw these, I feel like it was kind of sort of the same thing. And it kind of just threw people off. I like the different colorways, of course. As you guys see, white laces, white tongue. That's what, how I would rock these. But if they had did these exactly like the Laker colorway, man, and more so of what the Q-Dog fraternity colors look like for most of the pictures that you see, we would have had something similar to these. If they had to put like a more of a purplish colorway on these, I think that these would have been more of a sellout, not only just because of a lot of the Q-Dogs would have purchased these, but I do feel like a lot of people would have went after these just for the simple fact that they reminded them of a Laker colorway when it came to the Jordan 1. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, grab them while they low, they're gonna go up in price. Hey, listen, history always repeats itself. They say bricks build houses. People call these jokers bricks, and I'm telling you in due time, watch them climb because they're gonna go up in price. People are gonna regret not purchasing them at that low price, and then when they want them, they're gonna be like, dang, they getting out of reach. I don't feel like paying no three, four hundred dollars for a shoe that I know wasn't going for that much. And we've seen it happen year after year after year with Jordan Ones, man. It's a select few Jordan Ones that don't quite get that love, and they go up the way that people would think that they would. But hey, in due time, I do see these going up because of the quality. You know, it is what it is, but just my type of philosophy that I think that if these had been more of a purple, they would have been more of a banger for people. But I'm glad that I picked a pair up. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on these bad boys right here, the Brotherhood Jordan 1s. I think that they just, you know, I think they filthy. I think they fuego. I like the way that they did the materials on them and they did miss. Same thing with these light fusions that I have yet, man, I have yet to rock my LA to Chicago still, man. I don't know what's going on, but I have yet to rock these joints, man. I need to go ahead and put these joints to use, man, and wear them. I just ain't found the right fit to wear with them. I actually got a shirt that I recently just purchased to actually rock these with, but I think that the yellow on the shirt just don't hit with this because this is more of like that goldish looking color, but it is what it is, man. I got these at Sneaker Con Dallas, I think. Yeah, the Dallas Sneaker Con, man. So, y'all already know, man. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on these bad boys. Was this a cop or drop for you guys? And why did you pass on them if you passed on them? Why did you cop them if you copped them? Leave all that down below in the comment section below. I love to interact with you guys. We back, man, and we running these videos. But, yes, I do feel like this is a banger. Y'all just let me know what y'all think, man. Banger or not, man. But to me, you know, rock what you like. These joints fuego, man. I'm telling you, watch the price go up, man. Brotherhood Jordan 1s. It is your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. To the next video, peace, love, in Laguna Beach. And we out this thing. Yeti! It it's a couple Jordan 1 Retros, and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never gon' step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I gotta lay some deep black cement threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go, L. Place a bid and hopefully I can just hit forever. Yeah.